domain name uh, using the .ht access file. Now there's a couple of reasons why you would want to do this. One is if you, um, let's say, change the, na the name of your company or just decided to go with a different uh, domain name or URL, uh, then obviously you want to make sure you use the one redirects to make sure all of the old traffic as well as the SEO uh, that you've built up um, uh, over time to get transferred to the new domain name. The other reason is if, let's say you have a main website you have a bunch of satellite websites or satellite domain names and you want them to all forward to them to the main site uh you'll be able to uh to do that for example if let's say um you own bernie's cleaners.com and as your the main website and then you also have um maybe las vegas cleaners.com um henderson cleaners.com uh, los angeles cleaners.com and you want all these to redirect uh to BernieSCleaners.com. That would be, uh, you know, this method would work for that as well. Uh, so, for this specific client, they one of the domain names that they own is ShopENC.com, but the their main website is EnchantressCo.com. So this is a little bit harder to, I guess, uh, for you know, people to, uh, if you're just giving someone a, a URL maybe um, on the street or uh, over the phone or, or just through a radio advertisement, um, shopenc.com is a lot easier to say and remember than um, the actual name. So what we're going to do is instead of, uh, right now, uh, shopenc.com takes us to an empty directory basically. Um, so what we're going to do is log into the, uh, to the FTP for that and what I'm going to do is right click here and just a little bit of, of, uh, of um, uh, context. I'm using a, an FTP program called WinSCP, which allows me to create the text files on here so I don't have to create the text files and upload it. Um, so I definitely recommend WinSCP. Um, it's free, you can download it. And one of the cool things is um, is I can just create a .ht access file. And then I can uh, start typing stuff into it. Now if you, let's say have a, um, a, a another FTP program, maybe like FileZilla or something like that, where you can't just create the uh, where you have to create the file locally and upload it, what you want to do is create maybe like a htaccess.txt file and then and then uh, upload that to the server and then rename it to .htaccess because your local computer is not going to let you have a, uh, um, you know, a file called .htaccess because uh, essentially this what it's indicating is uh, no file name and that's the extension. Uh, so to make it easy, I would just recommend getting WinSCP and then logging into the FTP and you can just follow along. So what you want to do is uh, copy um, this, copy and paste this into here. Now I already have it, uh, have it basically filled out ahead of time, but I'll have this basically on this YouTube video. I'll have a link to my blog. You can just click on that and then you can just copy and paste the example here. And actually I'm going to, to uh, explain to you what each of these sections mean. So basically rewrite engine on means that let's turn on the mod rewrite. Mod rewrite is, is um, the service that basically will convert your um, the URLs and you can basically redirect it anywhere. So that's the first line. The second line is um, want to make sure the conditional is um, that this could be the domain name uh, of origin, or it could be the www dot version. Um, now there is a a, a way a shorthand of just condensing this into two lines, but uh, for the purpose of this, just go with this. I mean, if, yeah, to condense this into one line, um, but I would just recommend going with this. So if if so, if the uh, origin URL is any of these, then it will redirect it to the new URL 
And so basically what this part means is that if let's say somebody types in now, because this is a blank domain name, it's not really gonna make a big difference. But if let's say uh, later on, um, I don't know. Let's say that the, the original website was this website, right? And then this is the new domain name. Basically, if I type this in, it's gonna redirect it to this specific page. So we're not just you know redirecting people to the new domain name. We were directing people to the new domain name to that exact page from the old name. Um, if if that makes sense and isn't too confusing. So that's what this line means. So I'm going to basically copy and paste this. Um, actually, so for the purpose of this old domain dot com old domain dot com and then new domain oops yeah sorry new domain dot com and so basically uh once you copy and paste this from my blog um just swap out this swap out that and swap out that and basically what we want to do is um, paste it here in the dot access file and now i'm going to save it and if I go back here and I, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna open a new tab, hit enter. Bam, see how it takes us to that exact page. Um, bam, and that takes us to the home page because we didn't put anything uh, after the, um, uh, the, the dot com slash. So this is basically how you would do a uh, a 301 redirect from one domain name to another, and then maintaining basically all the 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 URL structures and and all of that good stuff, and having that transferred over as well. Uh, so hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have, um, like this video, share it with uh, friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also go to my blog yanshenghuang.com. Um, actually, I'll pull up right now. Um, I post a lot of interesting uh, articles on there. Um, you can also go to the video section and check out some of the other um, tutorial videos that I have. Um, and it's anywhere from coding to Linux to uh, Photoshop, um, uh, Windows tutorials, Mac tutorials. Um, th there's a lot of cool stuff over there, so check that out. Uh, like me on uh, Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Google Plus, Instagram, and, and so forth. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching uh, this video, and uh, thank you for, for uh, subscribing.